Hi there peoples, I'm Tim from Game Invaders and I thought I'd do a bit of a let's play on uh, Evo Creo. I played it the other day and I liked it and uh, a lot of people have watched my first impression review so I thought I'd play a bit more of it and see how I go. So let's continue the adventures of Dude Face and his friend Dudette Face. Okay, we're at Lanos Soft in Silicon Valley. So we need to talk to some dudes, I think, find out what needs to happen. Stop walking away from me, dude. Citizen, can't talk, have to work. Oh, looks like everyone's pretty busy in this town. Let's go on the Lana Soft. And I think I was on a mission for the dude in here, but I can't remember what it was. Here he is. Let's ask him. Lana Soft is always looking for new ways to improve, make an effective invoker. Okay. What a slave driver. Let's do what he says though. Oh, I think I saw a gem. Do I see a gem? Can I pinch gems from my boss's office? You found a prime gemmer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's this chick? What she want? Hello. Lanos is great. He helped me get started to become an evoker. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Time to do some evoking. Alright. So, how do we evoke? I've forgotten what I did last adventure. Let's talk to these dudes. Complicate the stuff of here. It has been under construction for the last few years. When it's finished, it should connect us right to Fortuna City. Awesome dude, so you're telling me to go south? I'll go south. Dude face, I should go visit my mum in Older Town before I leave. Where is Older Town? Do I have a map? What's this thing? Uh, bio? No. Creo? No. I should see my mum. Okay, we, we, we understand. We need to find our mum. Ah, where did I start? Did I start at my house? It was so long ago. Let's go into this house. No, we can't. Where is this one? Nope. Alright. I'm lost and I can't find my home. Alright, this is the farm I've been down here. I feel like it's north, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, where are these dudes? Silicon Valley is the most dynamic city in Zenith. On one side, you have an industrial powerhouse that contains some of the most creative minds in the country. On the other side, you have some of Zenith's most respectable farms. Alright, looks like we're on the farm side. Who's this dude? Hey, dude face, my name is Dr. Infinity. I heard you just became an evoker from Lanas. I represent a research firm in Fortuna City that specializes in Creo data acquisition and evoker performance. We developed a map app that will help you keep track of where you are and where you need to go. Let me see your tablet. Beep beep. Nice, you can now look at the map of Zenith and keep track of where you've been and where you need to go. Good luck on your journey. Awesome, so I was looking for a map. Now I've got a map. Let's look at the map. So here I am. Where do I need to go? I do not know this. Copper Cave. Fortuna City. Oh, it's got all the places. Except for our house, we need to say goodbye to our mum, I think. So can we go up here? Yes, we can. Older town, alright, we're in the right spot. Is that our mum? And you, my mommy? Kimberly Ross, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Anytime. Hi, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad I found you, but that was pretty pointless. 
Here we go. That's got to be my mum. Mum, just like your father always dashing off on your adventures. He wouldn't approve, but if no one is going to help him, it's up to us. We're all he has. Here, take this. Received 500 Zed. And take these. You received five links. They were your father's. They would do you more good than him. Good luck and stay safe. Oh, I can see another gem. Let's get this gemmy gem gem. You found a prima gemma. Sweet earth. Alright, so we've talked to our mom. Now we can look at our map and figure out how to get to the cave. So it's sure here. We need to get here. So we just got to go back to the town and then south. So let's do it. Do 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 Bit of walking to go. And I'll speed it up and I'll be there shortly. Okay, we're there, I think. Alright, trail, what's this sign? Have a look at it. Follow the path to Copper Cave. Take Copper Cave to Trail 33. It's a pretty handy sign. And how do we follow this path? Are we, can we even get up onto it? Looks like we can't get onto it. Damn you, where's my jump button? Okay, that's really weird. Must just have to follow it along. Hopefully there's a ramp. Here we go, ramp earth. No? Okay, pathway. Is that something? No, that's not something. Might have to fight this dude. <gasps> Sarasect is approaching. Okay, time to do some fighting. Wild Saracat encountered. Go Rebaz. Go Rebaz, do my fighting for me. Alright, I've got to show you different attacks here. Wild Saracat used Fortify. Oh no. And he used the defense. Robust used Scratch. Oh, I've got some of his energy. So I haven't played many Pokemon games, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Does that run away? Is it just a bag of tricks? Choose an item. A log, health, link. Okay, I have no items, so let's just hit him with my sword. We'll try this one. Wild Saraset used Scratch. Oh, Rappus used Recover. Rappus recovered some health. Alright, let's try the Scratch. Wild Saraset used Scratch. Oh, he's beating me now. I got him back. Alright, let's try this. Oh, do I have to wait for it to charge? Recover is still charging. Okay, let's do recover. That's my scratch move. And gradually getting him down. I'm just beating him. I'll try this ball. What's the ball do? Choose a creo. Okay, I can't do that. Cancel. So I'll just keep scratching him for the moment. Wild Saraset no longer has a shell. That's good. I should be able to get him better. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, now I can recover. He's fortifying his defense. Yeah, I got all my energy back. Okay, so you just keep scratching him. And then when your energy's down, use the other one. This time I should get him because he's got no shell. Oh, he's still hanging in there. Scratch him one more time. Take that, evil crab dude. Yee, cat. Alright, looks like he fainted. I got a bunch of XP. Sarasect has disappeared into the wilderness. Because I caned him. Alright, there's another one here. I think I'll just avoid this one for the moment. Who's this dude? John Latona. Keep a sharp eye. There are some nice creole around here. Wow, well, do I have to fight this dude? John Latona is challenging you to an evil creole match. Alright. He's got some kind of chicken creole. So let's scratch it. Faux Raven used Peck. Ouch. Oh, that got me good. That didn't get him good. So I'm going to recover my health. 
Oh, I'm dead. No. This Creole was very powerful. Two faces out of Creole. Two face lost. 50 to John Latimer. No, I don't like that. Two face returned to a nearby Evo Creole Center. Wow, he was pretty full on. Ah, oh, so do I have to do it all again? I actually died. I don't think it was possible to beat that dude, though. Dude face, you're off to find father, hmm? Hmm, yes, I am. Alright, looks like I need to go back and do it all again. So I'll speed it up and be there soon. Alright, I'm back in the area. I'm gonna just try and avoid all these dudes because, uh, oh no, I'm gonna fight him again. Keep a sharp eye, there are some nice crew around here. No, I don't wanna fight you. Your crew is too good. Can I, can I run? I think I can run. Run. Do you want a forfeit? Yes. Dude face gave up. Dude face lost. Oh, I lost money anyway. So if anyone beats that dude when they first play, oh, same thing happens as if I just died. That's really annoying. So if anyone beats that dude first time, uh, let me know, because it seemed like his, pet, his uh, creature was way more powerful than mine. So yeah, it'd be good to know if I just suck or if I'm supposed to lose. I'm supposed to try and find some Creo, but um, I'm just fighting dudes and it seems like I can't avoid them. So yeah, I'm gonna give it one more go, see if I can beat some more Creo. Maybe if I can beat some of the earlier ones, my dude will get more powerful. It's probably what I did wrong actually. There was a, one, a guy that I skipped. So I'll do them all in order and hopefully I get through doing it like that, hopefully. Alright, let's fight this dude first. Let's get this Sarah Kret. Uh, I'm not sure what all this, these bars are on the side. I need to do more research. Uh, let's scratch this dude, get rid of his shell. So I'm not going to use my uh, the recovery bit until uh, my energy is right down, down because it seems to charge it all the way back to full. So it should be a little bit quicker getting through in this time. Alright, uh, I'm getting a bit low now. Oh, a bit close for comfort there. Alright, now I can do some more scratching. He should lose his shell, yep. A bit more scratching. Let's put up his big turtle shield thing. Alright, one more time and he should be gone. Hopefully rubbers gets a bit more powerful and I can take out this bird thing that keeps hammering me. Or oh, having me lights in there. One more go and he's a goner. Goodbye. That's it, he's gone. Take that, my Evo Creo is superior. Iron Creo. Level 6, alright, so I have gone up a bit. Okay, that dude disappeared. Alright, let's take on this next dude. We'll stay away from this crazy guy. Encountered another Sarah crap. So hopefully if we take out a bunch of these. Look, we got a new weapon now, we could. Jeez, I've got no energy though. Oh, that's really annoying. I'm gonna die. Please don't attack me. Oh no! Ah! Well anyway, it looks like that's how you do it. I just forgot to get my energy back. I lost a lot really quickly. Anyway, I'll be back soon and I'm going to conquer this bit. Thanks for watching my little Let's Play Evo Creo. And um, yeah, I'll continue my journey shortly. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.